Hey guys, so um, I'm back, and here I have an LED hooked up as a light sensor. Uh, trying to get my lighting right. Okay, I think that's better. Anyway, right there is just your regular, generic, infrared LED. And why I choose infrared is because it's what I have. Okay? So the negative part of the LED, right this side, is hooked up to ground of my Arduino. The positive part is just hooked up to an analog input. Okay, at pin 13 is hooked through a resistor to a yellow LED. And a little sketchier, it's going to be on the Quick Nuclear Science website under Files, as all of my, as if there's a pro, it, always if there's a program or something I show off using a microcontroller on these videos, I always upload the program there. So laser tag, the, um, the video games on there. Anyway, so I just wrote a little sketch that if you cover it up, you can see the yellow light comes on. So, I'm going to show you how I did that here. So, what happens is that when LEDs, you hook them up, um, as always, if you hook them up normally, right, with the positive to power supply, negative to ground, then they produce light. But if you hook up negative to ground and the positive to an analog input, if you give them light, they produce voltage. So right here, you can see I'm doing, uh, probably can't see that. Um, um, but it's going 143 right now, about on the analog input. Maybe if I... Oh, there's a little bit of clarity there. Anyway, 144, about with light. Okay. When I cover the sensor, now it's about 107 to 1. So it depends on how high I'm covering it. So right now with my head, just sort of making a shadow. It's at 117, and now with my hand right over it, you can see obviously the light does turn on. It's now at like 107. So, uh, I'm going to show you the little sketch I did it and uh, how I wrote it. But anyway, that's a circuit. So, um, yeah, the circuit is negative of the LED to ground, positive of the LED to an analog input, and then positive of, um, and then just a digital pin to a resistor to an LED, negative of the LED to ground. And then this is my sketch that I wrote here. So, as you can see at the beginning, probably can't see, but if you look in it, you'll see that at the beginning I just initialize all stuff, initialize the serial. Then what I do is I get the analog read of the analog pin. Then I uh, serial print it so I can see it. I say if it's less than 129. And the reason it takes up 3,000 something bytes is because of the float, and I use the float to get more accurate. If you guys don't know on Arduino, float is a way of getting really accurate numbers down to uh, two or three decimal points, I think. Anyway, I say if the sensor value is less than 129, turn the LED on, and else, turn it off. So anyway, that's just my simple circuit. Hope that helps you, uh, helps you guys, and as you can see, it does work really well. So, if you ever need a light sensor, don't use a CDS cell, just use any LED you have lying around. But keep in mind, every LED will have its own unique um, number, so yours won't always be 129. Like, for instance, this yellow LED is like in the 300s, in the 300s in light, and this one is in the 144 in light, so... It does work very well, and the code will be on the website for those of you who want to use it. Um, so yeah. Bye.